And hello and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Emerald. I'm here with the other guy. Hello. And we got our butts kicked last time, so we did a little bit of grinding, and now we're back, ready to kick some butt and turn. Yes, we are going to kick Roxanne's butt. Why does it matter? Probably. I see nothing wrong with that. It makes sense. You know when this game was made? When people didn't care about what something was it's named. It's like naming a wingle wingle. But that's what it's named. No, it's not. It's named Uzi. That's because we're from now, where we can do crap like that. It's used Harden. And it has an Orenberry. Oh, no. Game. Oh, it's hardening again. Roxanne, please. Out speed. It didn't even hit us once. Yeah, so, it kept hardening. I <laughs> we were, like, trying to spray with water. It just kept getting so hard. <laughs> Stop that. Seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. This Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. Cool. Got the stone badge from Roxanne. Stone badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you too. Team TM39. This technical machine, TM39, contains Rock Tomb. It not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches uh, the move to a Pokemon. Remember, a TM can only be used once, so think before you use it. Wow, the good old days of just getting a TM badge is actually like... Get out! Out of the way! Wait, please, don't take my goods! Well, the gym badges nowadays also, like, increase your level cap. They do. Yeah. And Sun and Shield, I'm pretty sure they did. Whatever. And besides Arceus, which is a completely different style, there's no new Pokemon games yet. Other than the ones that have been revealed that aren't out yet. So yes, up to date, they still work that way. They did for Sun and what was it, Ultra Sun, right? I thought they did. Are you sure that you just weren't paying attention? And that I'm they positive, did both things? And you know why I'm positive? There's no gym! If there's no gems, there's no gym badges. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Got him. I, I'm gonna start playing games without you again. You did that anyway. You're barred. You're barred from the channel. I didn't see you. No, sit down. No, you said I'm barred. No, sit down. Bye bye. Fine. Oh, it's you. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Pilderborg Woods. Help me. I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the Devon goods back. If I don't, I'm gonna be in serious trouble. Do they just randomize whether it's Team Aqua or Team Magma when you play them? Like, no. Because like it's a specific team depending on the other game. This is Pokemon Emerald. Yeah. You face both at times. So far, we've only faced Aqua. We're on like the second place, man. So. We haven't given Magma a chance to do anything. They do all the volcan vo volcano crap and the mountain crap. We haven't gotten very far in the game, Ian. I think Team Magma needs more representation. I think you need to be quiet. Alright, so I'll just pretend like you know what I'm doing. Well, no, don't be that quiet. Eh. I'll just be sitting here awkwardly by myself trying to talk to uh, the one person that actually watches the videos. Just so you know, I've never once been bested by anyone at anything. When you lay your eyes on my Pokemon's gorgeous fur, their beauty will render you helpless. I'm gonna have to, like, stupid, like, zigzag. 
I only know that because we already did this. <laughs> no. Yeah, we definitely didn't have problems with the the uh, visual and had to uh, go back in time. It's such adorable. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No. What's wrong with Zigzagoon? It looks like something you'd pull out from behind your dumpster. Uh, so? That's not a compliment. You pull raccoons out from behind your dumpster. No, you don't. You just pull them out from inside the dumpster. <laughs> what if you catch them before they get in? Ooh, cool. He's leveling up. We got a potion. Nice. Potion, we learn all sorts of things at the trainer school. Oh. I want to test things out for real. Let me teach you how strong my adorable Pokemon is. Is it Mario? No, it's gonna be Ralts and Mario. Okay, those are actually decent Pokemon. Also, we already fought them. How did you not know what they were? You know how long ago that was? You think I remember that far? It wasn't that long ago. Only like. 40 minutes ago? Yeah. Maybe it doesn't extend back that far. You should know these guys. Goldfish. The actual goldfish brain. Wait. Goldfish. I thought goldfish brains were like 3 minutes. I thought it was more than that. Like 15 minutes. Okay, now I gotta look it up. I honestly don't know. To be honest. There was three something. Oh, let's go back and get that. Didn't we get, did we get the thingy? I remember. <clears throat> Goldfish can recall memories for at least one month. Three, so, like three to four weeks. Scientists have reported <clears throat> studies and research that goldfish can remember and recall things for approximately five months, if not more. Also, what is a goldfish remembering, to be honest? How, how do they know it remembers crap? Science. I don't know, how do you know that you remember stuff? What if you're not just making things up on the spot? So, I don't like remember. Like you're bad English. No. Well, no fit to sell all these. I, I already sold them. <laughs> how could I forget when we've already done it? Or are we just remembering wrong? You're just making things up on the spot because last time we sold them second. <coughs> Excuse me. Disgusting. <coughs> oh yeah, but since I remembered we'd already sold them, I didn't need to sell them second when I could sell them first because I remembered that they existed. <coughs> oh, what am I to do? We were on our walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Rawr, Pico. Pico well, Pico see, Pikachu. the TVA doesn't need to beat me up, because technically we didn't exist anywhere outside of time. The only thing that's happened is we've played a game. We're like, oh crap. And it, then we turned back time. It didn't work, so let's just reset to a previous save state. In other words, we went back in time. Oh my god, Noodle's going to get beat up by the TVA. Dang it, pick that up. How did that happen? What are you coming? What? Oh, what are you coming? Come and get some, then. You probably bumped it and it fell over. Pick it up! God, you're slow. Well, I'm sorry, I'm trying to speak. You don't need to speak. You don't need to speak. I, I kind of do, I'm narrating. Not very well. Unless you speak English. I do speak English, I just speak it terribly. Chuck, this is plain, not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devin. You want to back them badly? Take it. Obtain the Devin goods. Nice. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe? Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are... Ah, so you are a noodle. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in the, my cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico, we should make our way home. Pio. Why is Pico not a Pikachu? 
Because it's Pico and not Pika. But what kind of name for a Weasel is Pico? I don't know, because some people are more inventive than, hey, let's take our Pokemon and scramble the letters of their name. Hey, let's take Kyogre and name it Magico. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> to get to Verdanturf without using this tunnel, you'd have to cross the sea to Duford, sail on the Slate Port, and travel through Mavo. That rust turf tunnel there. At first, we had a huge work crew boring through rock with the latest machinery, but we had to stop. It turns out that we would have had a negative effect on wild Pokemon in the area. So we've got. <laughs> That's just my terrible English. Effect. So we've got nothing to do but lol around here doing nothing. There's a man taking his way to Verdant Turf all by his lonesome. He's desperate to get through. He says that if he digs little by little without using machines, he won't disturb Pokemon and he'll avoid harming the natural environment. I wonder if he made it through yet. You know how chonky a carbink is? I don't think one pickaxe swing would kill a carbink. Depends on how hard you swing your pickaxe. Also, you gotta remember, we attack carbinks with, like, moves that are, like... Water. Yeah, but a single blast of water isn't gonna kill a rock. <laughs> you strike that sucker with a pickaxe and it shatters! I guess we'll just have to find out. <laughs> Oh, how did it go? The Devon Goods. You did. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. I know. That's my thing. So I'll give you another great ball. Cool. Great ball of fire. Excuse me, please. Come with me. This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyways, I can't tell you uh, how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Oh, um, by the way, the parcel you got back for us. Uh, could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slateport? It would be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. Uh, could I count on you to do that for me? Oh, that's right. Could you wait here a second? Our president would like to have a word with you. One screen over. Please come with me. Please go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got a word about you. You saved your staff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a baggage to Slateboard's shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen in Duford. Update the letter. Now, you should know that I am a great president, so I've, <laughs> I've never been so cheap as to ask a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. We got Poconave. It's like the cell phone from the last game that harassed us constantly. <laughs> that device. It's Pokemon Navigator, or Poconave for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check the locations of Duford and Slateport easily. By the way, I've heard that sinister criminals Magma and Aqua, I believe, have been uh, making trouble far and wide. I think it would be best if you rested up before you go on your way. You fell asleep in that man's arms. Well then, Noodle, go with caution and care. Nah, we just slept on the couch or something. Nah, we just, we didn't eat. I've been developing an added feature for the Pokenav, and it turned out great. Noodle, may I say that Pokenav that our president gave you? Here you go, Noodle. I added a new feature named Match Call to your Pokemon app. Uh, using the Match Call feature, you can chat with people who have been registered in your Pokemon app. Uh, Miss Noodle, our President Stone should be registered in your Pokemon app. Test it out. Please give a President a call. Or, do you stop yawning every 10 seconds? <laughs> Shut up. That's not true. Oh, Noodle, since you called me, the Pokemon app must be working properly. Other people will be registered, so try calling them up too. Good, good. You seem to be quite happy. Hmm, how could I know that? It's because I'm looking down at you from my office window. <laughs> Not really. Especially with that laugh. Okay. I'm looking at you from my office window. <laughs> well, we don't know what that's what he really sounded like. It's not like we could hear him. Okay, well, I better get I'm back to work. Please bad. take your noodle. Well, yeah, but that's your opinion. Stop yawning! No. Also, your opinion's crap. <laughs> no, your opinion's crap. No, you. Yo, is that May? No, it's not May. It's June. Yo, did you just get your first ever woman's phone number? No. Also, shut up! Stop making old jokes. <laughs> Do them. Nah, yeah, only because they won't see it the first time around. <laughs> Don't see a joke. See you in hell. That's rude and unnecessary. 
Oh. I didn't mean to. Why are you so bad? Oh my. What the heck? Why are you so bad? I didn't expect it to do absolutely you nothing. Orange killed. No. Yikes, you're better than I expected. Oh, by the way, Mr. Briney, who I just passed. Uh, Noodle, you just moved here, so you might not know. Jeez. Good oh, lord. Do you want to, like, take a break? <laughs> but Mr. Briney was once a revered seraph a seafarer. No. Okay. Well, on that note, <laughs> um, so I think that is all that we will do for this episode. We've uh, gotten the Devon goods, and we're going to take them over to Slateport. And so next time, we will make our way to Mr. Briny's cottage and uh, head over to Duford. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye.